the various forms of media that we consume make us very accustomed to just seeing a single lead character as protagonist in a story. The term protagonist even comes from the idea of it being a single lead role. So, how are we able to balance a story that has multiple leads? There's an old joke about an out-of-work actor who lands the role playing the gravedigger in Hamlet. He goes home to his wife and says, Honey, I found a part in a play. She says, Great, what's the play about? He says it's about a gravedigger who meets a prince. Now, it's not a very funny joke, but the idea of it is that we all have to see ourselves as the main character in our own story. I should mention quickly as well that protagonist does not necessarily mean hero. It can mean anti-hero, it can mean whoever, as long as the story is about that character. There are definitely stories out there for which you can make the argument of different characters being central. I'll give the example of The Lord of the Rings, because we all know that story. And it seems like it's about Frodo's quest with the ring. But it could also be about Aragorn accepting his destiny, Gandalf changing, it could even be about Samwise coming into his own. The easiest way for us to do this in most stories is to share the spotlight. And that's actually not terribly difficult, but certain games incentivize it. Burning Wheel, for example, you can advance yourself by helping others, and it's a very good way to do so. It's also entirely possible to write a belief for your character that is centered around somebody else's story, and you will be rewarded for playing to that. There's also something to be said for those who are willing to play a secondary role. And it's actually not that bad. If you look at some stories, uh, I'll use Game of Thrones because most people have familiarity with it, there are characters who are not central to that story, but they have their hand in a lot of different situations, and they would actually be a very active and interesting character to play in that story, even if it is not necessarily about them most of the time. Additionally, there are games that can make this possible. Now, I've run monsters and other childish things this way, where people will play them their own character and the monster of somebody else. But a game that makes this a part of its very design is Shock, where you will play your protagonist and somebody else's antagonist throughout the various scenes. One of the pitfalls we run into with this is the possibility of death of the protagonist. Now, I said before that death shouldn't be the only risk on the table, and I still hold firm to that. But if a character does die in a story, the story could, for that character, be about their death. It could also be that that death has ripple effects throughout the rest of the story, just as a real person's death has ripple effects through our lives. One thing I think we can agree on is the protagonists should be the player characters. They need not be the most important or influential characters in the story, but what you tell at the table is about them. While this isn't exactly new information for most people, it is something that we should take the time to think about. How do we, as players, see the other characters in the story? And as a GM, how do we place the player characters as a focus? Links for Blackboards and Minute Games are on screen and below. Video replies and comments are very welcome. And if you're interested in playing a game that I've talked about, I would like to try to open this up on Google+. There is a link for the notes as well. Thanks for watching, and I hope that every game that you have is better than the last.